How to GPU Mine Pyrel with AMD and NVIDIA GPUs. Here I am at whattomine.com. I have 580 selected. And you can see that Pyrel is the most profitable coin right now. You can trade, buy, or sell Pyrel on Cryptopia. And you can mine it with 580s, 570s, 480s, 470s, 380s, 1050 Ti's, 1060s. Those are the best cards for mining Pyro. Here I am at Pyro.io, P-I-R-L.io, a community built crypto by people for people. Pyro is a new cryptocurrency based on the Ethereum network. The goal of Pyro is to facilitate transactions between buyers and sellers securely through an entirely automated process. Pyro is community based and has an open source philosophy. Everyone can contribute to make it better. Proof of work mining will always be implemented and will not turn into proof of stake. Pyro has been created to be useful for all people for day to day usage. It can allow non technical users to be easily part of the new digital money world. Pyro wants to keep things simple and easy with value for everybody. Putting miners and nodes at the center of the process. Without miners, the start of a new crypto will not be possible. And without node owners, we would not be able to maintain the network. Pyro's algorithm is Dagger ETH hash. It has a block reward of 12, a block target of 13 seconds, miner reward of 10, and master node reward of 2. There is no pre-mine with Pyro. Here you can find a number of useful URLs. I'm going to open GitHub in a new tab. And here you can find the full pool list. I'll open this in another new tab. Here is Pyro's roadmap, branding, create Linux wallet, create mining pool, Pyro block explorer, create Windows Mac wallet, exchange listings, master nodes, marketplace, classified smart contracts, mobile wallets, external payment solutions, and then whatever else users would like in Pyro. Here is the Pyro GitHub page. I'm going to scroll down to my Pyro wallet. And I'm going to click on wallet.pyro.io. This is a MyEther wallet clone for Pyro. I'm going to create a new text document. I'll name it Pyro Wallet. Open it up. And I need to enter a password, so I'm going to type a password. I am CryptoMind. I'll copy it, paste it into the password field, and click on Create New Wallet. Here is my Keystore file. I'll click on Download Keystore file and save it. Here you can see it in my downloads. Do not lose it. It cannot be recovered if you lose it. Do not share it. Your funds will be stolen if you use this file on a malicious phishing site. Make a backup. Secure it like the millions of dollars it may one day be worth. I'll click on I understand. Continue. Here is my private key for my wallet. I'm going to highlight it and copy it. I'll type private key in my text document and paste it underneath. Here I can print my paper wallet. I'm going to click on save your address. Now I can open my wallet with my key store file or my private key. So I'll copy my private key, paste it into the field and click unlock. This unlocks my wallet. I can see my address. My private key is here in text format and in QR code. I can print my paper wallet again. I see my wallet in QR code. Here again is my wallet address, account balance, and the explorer. So I'm going to copy my wallet address and then paste it into the text document. I'll save the text document. And now I'll go to the list of mining pools. Here you can find all of the current Pearl mining pools. There are a lot of mining pools spread around the world. I'll open a few up in tabs so we can take a look at them. Minerpool.net, pool.sexy, ethhashcoins, 
HPPCG, and crypto pools. Here is Miner Pool. This is the largest Pyro Pool. Here is Pool.sexy. Here is ethash slash coins dot ru, the Russian pool. Here is HPPCG pools, which offers Music Coin, Ubique, Soil Coin, Sumo Coin, and Pyro. And here is CryptoPools.info. This is the pool that I'm going to be using in the example in this video. The pool has a reasonable hash rate, a small fee of 1%. I'll go ahead and click on Help. Here it says Get a Wallet to Use. Well, I've already done that. Mining Software. We recommend Claymores and eMiner. I already have Claymore's Dual Ethereum Miner version 10.1 downloaded. Here we can see the commands for running the miners. So I'll go ahead and extract Claymore's Miner and then go into the folders. I'm going to edit the start batch file. I'll copy the example command from the pool and paste it into my batch file over the default. I'll remove the brackets around EXE, as this is for Windows. Here is the pool. I need to put in my wallet address. I'll go and copy my wallet address and paste it into the command. It has password set to X, all pools set to 1 on, all coins set to EXP. I'll give my worker a name. I'll name this rig 580. Now I'm done. I can save the file and close the file. Now I can double click on the start batch file and launch the miner. The miner starts up, recognizes all eight of my RX 580 8GB AMD GPUs, and starts mining. I can paste in my address in CryptoPools.info and click Lookup to see my stats and payment history. I don't have any payouts yet. My hash rate on the pool will keep increasing until I get to the actual hash rate. Now as most of you know this is Claymore's Miner so the method of using Nvidia cards is the exact same as using these AMD cards. Here I am on my laptop. This laptop has a 1070 mobile GPU. I've copied over Claymore's Miner and I've just changed the rig name to 1070M. I'll double click on the start batch file and launch the miner. It recognizes my NVIDIA 1070 mobile GPU. And starts mining at about 25 mega hashes per second. It generally does 26 mega hashes per second, but right now I'm recording and that seems to slow it down by about 1 mega hash per second. Pyro sounds like a very interesting new cryptocurrency that you can mine. Right now I am currently mining Pyro and I might keep mining Pyro for a very long time. We'll have to see. So give it a try. Mine some Pyro. And I hope you liked this video. I hope it helped. And thanks for watching.